Hi, my name is Ryan Grover. Welcome to my gallery. I call the Hall of Doors. <laughs> uh, yeah, during normally this time of year, I'll be uh, opening my studio as part of um, the Great Dulwich Festival and opening studios. But obviously, can't do that because uh, no one will turn up. So, <laughs> so now I'm doing a kind of little virtual virtual exhibition. So uh, I'm just going to take you through uh, a few pieces of work. Um, yeah. And uh, if you if you if you have any interest in any of the work, please contact me on my on, on my Instagram, <laughs> Margaret Double Underscore, or my phone number oh seven nine three oh three five two five six one. <laughs> On MarnieGrover.com. All calls will be recorded. <laughs> <laughs> For literally no, no purpose. For no purpose. No, no, just kind of record everything. <gasps> Great. Anyway, so, let's go. I, well, I guess we'll start, we'll start here. <laughs> I'm here. So, uh, so, talk to me about sheds. Well, there's not a lot to say about sheds, really. But they, they are fantastic things. And um, I think uh, you, you kind of grow up knowing you, perhaps you, if your dad's lucky enough to have a shed, you grow up with that as your first experience and uh, and it goes from there. Well, it did for me anyway. And um, so all kind of shed like objects I'm, I'm, I, I like. And one day, I perhaps will even have my own. <laughs> I did build one of my own out on the balcony. But it, 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 it <laughs> tell the truth, it wasn't very well built. <laughs> but I'd taken photographs of it in, in sort of as it's decaying. So right. it will, will eventually appear in some, some work. Okay, cool. Um, so, and then we move on to my um, wildflower painting. Uh, there's print, these are screen prints, all individually printed. And these are paintings, all individually oh. painted. Um, there's, in some ways, they're not much different, apart from the, the way I screen print is I paint directly onto the screen to, to create my um, stencils and then just gradually overprint. Mm. Um, this is your horticultural series. Yeah, but my botanicals. These are my botanicals. Come, come up and see my botanicals sometime. <laughs> <laughs> um, um. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's a series I've been doing for for a while now, and I, I try to just keep it to wildflowers or stroke weeds mm. that um, I see when I walk my dog or that grow near my studio, <laughs> even in my studio. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and then and then moving swiftly on. Um, Got my kind of some of my record paintings. Uh, I mean, really, I, I, I started painting records um, when I was at school. When I first started uh, um, buying albums and getting interested in music, um, so uh, in some ways I haven't moved on uh, very far. But um, I'd like to think, in fact, my taste has got slightly better, um, and and perhaps the skill level has gone up a little bit. But. Um, yeah, so I've been doing, and the, the, yeah, I started out doing them life size uh, as a commission is... about um, about twenty years ago now, and just carried on doing them till my eyesight got a bit dodgy, and then I sort of enlarged them to uh, sort of a <laughs> meter square. Yeah, and you got some here as well. Yeah, so a few yeah, more so... down here. Um, yeah, I'll take it down the uh, oh. the main part, of the corridor, the corridors of my life, um, and. Uh, we got, uh, yeah, yeah, quite a few years ago now, I started the South London Procrastination Club. Uh, it sort of exists in my head only at the moment, and as prints, uh, one day we will convene a me meeting. <laughs> when we've sorted out a building and vetted the members. Uh, yeah, so I, that's, that's another kind of ongoing theme, really. Procrastination is... Uh, so, because your, your, your landscapes, they, they look like they're... They're kind of inspired by quite traditional landscape painters, yeah. aren't they? Oh yeah, absolutely. And and obviously that these these ones in particular, you know, by travel posters, um, you know, from the thirties kind of onwards, I guess. Mm. So it's got that sort of lovely sort of English classic sort of feel to it. Oh my god, the music's music's jumping. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, so that's not that's. Uh, mm. And, and also, these, these are places, these, these are all, this used to be the bench outside um, the West Norwood Library before they uh, removed it um, and did the library up and turned it into a cinema. And um, this is a view in Brockwell Park, one of my favourite kind of views in Brockwell Park. You do quite a lot of Brockwell Park, don't you? Yeah, yeah, well, it's, um, <coughs> it's my local sort of big park. And when, when the kids were young, that was, that was really our only kind of green space. 
and, and as green spaces go, it's pretty, it's pretty spectacular. Yeah, it's I think. gorgeous. Um, so yeah, so it will be. It's a, it's a kind of constant sort of inspiration. Um, and um, it's interesting because with the things you do at Brockwell Park, it's like you kind of superimpose your own um, ideas of kind of what what is magical and what's. Um, what kind of affects you? So the way that there's the the kind of series you did of soul singers singing in. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think there's a there's a joy there's a joy in soul music and there's a joy in Brockwell Park, and it just seemed a nice way to sort of marry the two. Yeah. Um, I like the idea of them making a video in um, in Brockwell Park, you know, singing their kind of great songs. So I've got Aretha Franklin. I've done uh, Barry White. I've, I've done Irma Thomas. And I've done uh, Billy Stewart. Tyrone Davis, I think, mm -hmm. appeared there one day. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's an ongoing, it's a, <laughs> and that was, another ongoing series. And that's the gold leaf, that's just lovely. And that's a bit of gold leaf I just did. I had that just as, good, as a simple kind of landscape, and um, then I was just kind of mucking around with that, that those, those old ideas, of those kind of seaside postcards. Mm. Um, so uh, just thought so I'd sort of pimp, pimp, my own, uh, <laughs> pimp my own print. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and um, yeah, and then I've got some merchandise here. And I've, I've printed some bunting, especially oh, for yeah. the occasion. And I've got my. It's the merchandise! International League. Oh, oh, yeah. It's gone international. Oh, it's gone international. It's gone big. Yeah, and, it's, and it, yeah, we'll, we'll, need, we'll need some procrastinate a little bit more in these, um, in these lockdown times. Mm -hmm. All you need is love, apparently. Mm -hmm. So, um, we've spoken about some of your influences of, sort of landscape painters and sort of soul music. Um, but then there is a kind of literary angle on some of your work as well, uh, or like kind yeah, of the yeah, lyrics yeah. of things. Yeah, yeah, because a lot of them are, are illustrations of songs, uh, uh, some are poems um, or short stories. Um, so yeah, and I've always been, I always think my kind of work has a kind of narr narrative sort of quality, even if I'm not sure what the narrative is. Can you, can you, because this one's interesting because because it's it's black and white, which is a, quite unusual for you. So it's kind of really driven by draw, drawing, even though it, it's it's yeah. a screen print. But can you tell me a bit about this one? Well, it's ba it's based on a, a Grand Green short story called The Destructors, um, which which really appealed to me when I first read it years ago. And and I, and I did a, a, originally did a big painting of it. And so it's just recently, I thought I'd kind of revisit it and just do it as a <clears throat> as as a kind of drawing. But it's um, but I've managed to, it's all hand painted onto the screen. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'm able to sort of do all the sort of cross hatching and, and what have you direct onto the screen. So it was, yeah, I was really, I was really pleased with the way it, it, it came out. And at some point I might put some colour behind it as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know it's, it's really cool. But then, and then, but the kind of love of London and this literary interest that it crosses over in your, in your, what do you call them, three, three D works? Yeah, which well, are the... yeah I, guess, I guess you could call them sculptures. I mean, I, I, but uh, yeah, the bus stop. So originally, yeah, I've been doing kind of bus stop prints for for years, um, and then years ago, I decided to make my own sort of bus stops. Yeah. And then that's combined with with my kind of love of music. I've, I've just kind of done devoted some bus stops. To a particular band, so this is my kind of talking heads um, <laughs> bus stop, and I don't know, I don't really know what they're about, uh, but they, but to me, they, 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 they I, the bus stops are just such lovely objects, and it's and it's just really lovely, kind of recreating. Let's them. have a look at some of them. So they're a bit kind of folky. So here we've got my Aretha Franklin stop um, and my my Kink stop. <laughs> so. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just a way of tying up some of their songs that have perhaps have a, uh, uh, a relevance to travel and, you know, with Angel. Mm. It's, it's, it's a London place and it's a, an Aretha Franklin song. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, we've got what up here, we've got, we've got what we've got. Oh, we've got a, a Philadelphia, a Philadelphia stop. There again, some, some great titles that just fit very nicely onto a London bus stop, mm. and there's a Motown one. Uh, and yeah, there again, there's another series. I, I seem to do things that are in a series of, of things that are in perpetual kind of mm -hmm. motion, as it were. I'm, I'm, I never quite get to the end of the series. Um, and there, yeah, there's, that's Brixton Station, kind of Twilight 
um, picture of Brixton Station. That's lovely. Um, and then below that is a, a print that was based on a little story I heard on the, on the radio many years ago. I won't, I won't elaborate on that this, uh, here because it would probably take too long. But it, anyway, it's called uh, One Day We'll Look Back on All This and Cry. Uh, Seems to be cheery. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. And, um, and then below that, we've got a little kind of ode to uh, Space Hoppers. Um, and that, I think, the kind of like, the, yeah. sort of concludes the uh, little, little tour of the, of the gallery so far. No, but, I, mean, um, I mean, I've got loads more work, but you can, you can see that on, on the website uh, or on Instagram. But it's, it's, I think... Oh, it's a badges. And so, oh, we've got some badges. Oh, oh yeah. Your South your, London. Your kitchen needs. Oh, yeah. South London Procrastination you, you Club. Can think, you can think about them in the dry night. But I think it's, it's really interesting looking at some of these and like, talking to you about them because even though they seem, um, that this is sort of whimsical, they're actually, this is quite profound comment on how kind of beautiful South London is to you. And the, I don't know. I, I think that um, there's definitely yeah, something. Well, that I, like, I, 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 no, I yeah, it's beautiful to me. Yeah, it, it's 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 got its uh, grim parts. But no, I, I but I think it's you. I, I think if uh, you can't find beauty wherever you wherever you live, because really. there's that kind of thing of um, you know people would make pilgrimage to the Holy Land and then mm. they would they would take flowers and, and, and press them and mm. kind of keep them. And the fact that you sort of elevated weeds that grow outside the studio in West Norwood into this, this kind of space of being being preserved in in this kind of yeah, high yeah, detail. Yeah. Well, the, yeah, and the, but that's and that's what I do with the records really as well. Yeah. They they are like beautiful flowers, you know, and 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 you and as much as it's you know it's about the songs, yeah. it's also about the, the the sort of pattern of age you get in the sleeves and the way they get dogged. Because well, that's just, what, and they're yeah. just beautiful objects. So I, I there, there's a nice correlation there with the with the with the flowers and that's why I, I started putting them on black background so it's it's people always think they're done by different people but to me mm. yeah, there's, it's exactly the same approach the, these are just like flat still lines um, <laughs> it's the same with I mean these ones which I think I remember you saying a kind of was it, a, like a kind of fun exercise in sort of making realistic toast with sort of yeah. four colours of screen print you know it yeah, is yeah it's just it's just seeing what I can do with the screen print and then also just taking you know what is an iconic bit of English <laughs> breakfast and and uh, and paint it because also eggs have appeared in art. I, 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 you know, I'm not great with my art history, but I mean Velasquez and uh, lots of people. Have, have, there's eggs, mm. there's eggs and food in art. Yeah, is, is obviously a, a, a massive sort of part of uh, part of it. Yeah. So just before before we finish, I know that you um you've been doing some of the portraits of of key workers. Of NHS workers. Oh, well, yeah, I've just started them. They're, they're at the studio at the moment, so um, I, hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll be able to put those up on uh, uh, on Instagram and, set, and send them send them uh, to to the people involved. It's quite exciting to see because you because you haven't painting portraits hasn't been a part of your uh, work for quite no, a long time. No, it's been it's been a long time since I've done a, a, a commission portrait or or any sort of portrait really. Although I'm doing obviously my paintings as figures so they are mm. kind of portraits but yeah no it's it's it's, it's good to get back into it's, it's it's a nice little thing to do and, and I, yeah I, I well I hope they like them because uh, they deserve <laughs> to have something nice yeah this is over oh great so have you got, have you got, have you got, have you got anything to add not really no just just to say yeah yeah if, if, to go direct message me if you're interested in anything go to the website there's a there's a 15 percent um, sort of sale on at the moment on, on, on stuff in the shop um, and also I'm going to over this sort of period while the Dunwich Festival's on I was just going to donate 10% uh, of the takings to the uh, Norwood and Brixton Food Bank because um, they do great work um, yeah so no, thanks for thanks for watching I'll be back you'll be back <laughs> <laughs> bye